Hi everyone, Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic with a quick demonstration of a board for one of my clients who has uh, purchased one of my standard Padawan 360 boards. Uh, so this is now complete. We have the Sabretooth 2x32, uh, Sire N10, nice big power switch, uh, voltmeter. I'm just running this off a single LiPo that frankly could do with a charge. This is running a Mega ADK board and uh, that means that the USB puck gets uh, driven straight off the board. Um, we have a two by 100 watt amplifier. So this is a stereo amplifier, which means that you have got two potentiometers for individually adjusting the sound. So uh, this is one potentiometer and this is the second. So just for this demo, I've actually got two completely widely different speakers um, just to sort of prove that you can actually drive two things at two different volumes, no problem at all. And then we have the SparkFun MP3 player over here. So um, this is currently bound to this particular board. Um, as you can see, it's actually in speed three at the moment because I was just testing. But um, you click down on the left thumbstick, we get an audio confirmation and uh, drive is enabled. You can see on my ALT droid there, uh, we've got left, right, and sort of all proportions of that. Um, to disable the drive, push the start button, the thing spins around. We've now no longer got any drive. The dome motor is always live and on the right stick. And as you can see on just my little test motor there, that is doing its own, doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, all the sounds are obviously on the uh, buttons. So basically sad sounds on the blue button, happy sounds on there, and they are random. So if you push it again, it'll do a different sound. So it gives us a different sound. Then if we use the shoulder buttons or the trigger buttons, General Kenobi. We years get ago you served my father in the messages. Clone Wars. So we get that one. And those ones will be the same every time if you hold the shoulder button down. So let's do the right shoulder now, do some of these. And, uh, you'll hear that we get the music, different soundtracks. Um, to stop it, we just push a, another button. And the same also goes for the trigger buttons underneath. So that was, that was the shoulder buttons I was using. So if I do, for example, left trigger and Y, we get a chuckle and that will be the same each time. Like the wolf whistle, a uh, very uh, popular one. So left trigger and blue button does the wolf whistle every time. Left, left trigger and A gives a scream. Left trigger and right does. Uh, and left trigger and red button does that. Uh, right trigger, I don't think it's actually. I don't. Yeah. The right, right trigger doesn't actually. Yeah, the right trigger doesn't do anything other than just, you know, just the, the normal sort of happy and sad sounds. If you want to adjust the volume on the fly, you can use the right shoulder button and then the hat up and down to adjust the volume up or down respectively. But apart from that, that's about it. Nice, neat little system. This will run from anywhere from, well, as you can see, just under 12 volts up to uh, about 24 volts, 25 volts if you're running LiPos without any adjustments whatsoever. Literally just plug it in. As I say, I'm just running it off an old little um, three cell LiPo at the moment, just uh, down, straight down the raw cable. So your uh, motor connections are gonna go into the left and right channels on here. Uh, your dome motor is gonna go to the outer two uh, uh, screw terminals on there, as you can sort of see going off into the distance there. And apart from putting your speakers into the screw terminals there, that is all you need to do. Anyway, that's it. Thanks very much indeed for this particular client who has been uh, very, very um, kind with his time and allowing me some time to get this absolutely spot on. Uh, this is ready to send and it will be going off in the post in the next day or so. Take care. Bye for now.